It was advertised in a national magazine, read David Pawson's autobiography, <laughs> The Road to Hell. <laughs> but after I had written that book, because of my deep burden, that preachers were no longer preaching on hell, which seemed to indicate that they no longer took it seriously. I was invited to broadcasts after broadcast with the BBC. Apparently it's strange to have a preacher who still believes in hell. And I was interviewed again and again on the media. And the first question was always the same, got boring. How can a loving God send anyone to hell? And I usually replied to the question with another question. I learned that technique from Jesus. And my question was, where did you get the idea that God was loving? Now that really threw the interview. There, there, there was stutter and stammer and say, well, well but, uh, don't Christians believe that? I said, well, as a matter of fact, they do. And don't, didn't Jesus teach that? Well, as a matter of fact, he did. But everything I know about hell, I learned from Jesus. Nobody else in the Bible talked about it. Paul doesn't, Peter doesn't, John doesn't, Isaiah doesn't, Jeremiah doesn't. Only Jesus dared to tell us what hell was like. And incidentally, all but two of his warnings about hell were delivered to born-again believers. The two exceptions were to Pharisees. Well now, what we've done in focusing on the love of God is to give people a sentimental rather than a scriptural understanding of the God we know. That he is somehow there to serve us, to look after us. We are not here to serve him, he's there to look after us. To keep us healthy, keep us safe, to keep us prosperous or as prosperous as we need to be, to keep us, in a word, happy. And if God doesn't keep me happy and safe and healthy, I call it quits with him and I stop going to church. I have met so many thousands of people who called it quits with God because he didn't do what they wanted. Well, I asked him to help me out of this, I asked him to heal me of that, and he didn't. So I've just called it quits with him. It's saying simply, he's no use to me, so why bother? This applies to the majority of our fellow countrymen, and probably the majority of people living in Tunbridge. Why aren't they in church? Why aren't they all here? They will tell you if they're honest. They don't think God is of any use to them. And therefore why should they spend any time or money on him? That's a sentimental view of God. And if he fails to look after us, we complain, we grumble, we criticize. Well, if that's what God is like, I'm finished.